Here's a quick, simple, but powerful effect. Okay, so as you can tell, I have a deck of cards here. And so what I'm going to do is just give it a shuffle, mix it a few times so that no one knows where anything is. Very good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to deal out the top uh, nine cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We only need nine cards. And from here, what I'm going to do is just deal these nine cards into three piles of three. Okay? And now I would like you to tell me how we should stack these. Which one should I pick up first? You want that one first? Okay. What should I put on top of it? This one? Okay. And of course, this is the last one. So there we go. Very good. And then I'm going to do something called a Charlier Shuffle. Kind of a cool shuffle. It's, uh, it's a top to bottom, bottom to top, top to bottom kind of shuffle. Um, I could also, if you were here, I could allow you to go ahead and uh, just cut the cards wherever you like. That would be fine. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, and if you were here, I could have you do it, honestly. We're going to deal these cards out into two piles with random stacking. So you, you want this right one on top of the left? Okay. Let's do that again. Your choice. You want right on left again? Okay, very good. Okay, let's do another one of those. You want left on right this time? That's just fine. And why don't we do one more? You want right on left again. Okay. So you need to know that um, if you were here, you could do this left-right dealing as many times as you like and with random stacking. And then from there, all we have to do is just deal them out into three piles. That's all we're going to do. Okay. And I have a prediction as to what's going to happen here. I think that one of these piles will contain uh, only face cards. Just face cards. And let's see, are they red, black, a mixture? I think they're all red. And in fact, I think they're the same suit. I think they're all hearts. So I think one of these piles consists of a jack of hearts, a queen of hearts, and a king of hearts. Let's see how I did. Okay, well, no go there. What about over here? Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Jack, Queen, and King of Hearts. What are these just out of interest? Oh, look at that. We have the Queen of Diamonds and the Queen of Clubs, but I said nothing of those. Wow, a perfect prediction. Okay, so let's show you how to do this. This will work for you every single time. Now, it is using a very powerful principle from what's called the um, Hidden Structures course on my channel, um, but uh, you can do this right away. You don't have to understand all of the mathematics, and so that's why I put it on the Simple Math Card Magic channel. Okay, so we're not going to go into all of the whys. Uh, but what you need to do is you just simply need, I'm just grabbing the deck over here, whichever three cards you decide what they are, whatever three cards you want to reveal as a triple in the end, uh, they need to go on top of the deck. So that's all I did. I just put the, the uh, jack, queen, and king of hearts on top of the deck, okay? And then from there, what you need to do is just uh, mix the cards or, you know, supposedly mix the cards, but do it in such a way that you leave those top three cards undisturbed, okay? Now that's actually not too hard to do because here with the riffle shuffle, you just deal off fewer than half the cards. And so the special cards are on top here. So I just have to make sure all of these cards fall before uh, first before we get to the top most cards. Well, look at that big chunk there. <laughs> Our cards are safely protected in there. And it doesn't actually take much practice 
to um, get good at preserving what we call the top stock. Um, here it's only three cards that need to be preserved. I've preserved a lot more than that, but I guess I'm just being super careful there. Okay, so uh, just mix in such a way that you preserve the top three cards. See there it's getting a little closer, right? Uh, but that's more than three, that's probably about five. Okay, so you do that to the satisfaction of the spectator. And then you simply just tell the spectator we need uh, nine cards for this effect, which you do. So you just out, deal out nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Okay, so we have nine cards. Now, um, you probably see in your mind's eye where your special cards are. They're going to be at the bottom because they started at the top of the deck. And when we dealt from the top of the deck, to the table, it reverses the order of the cards, right? So our special cards are on the bottom there, okay? So what you need to remember is just the number 323, 323. And it's fairly easy to remember because of the symmetry here. So three, two in the middle, and then another three. Well, how does this help us? Well, it gives you the key for how you need to deal the piles and stay safe. Okay, so the first three is referring to dealing out the cards. So we have the cards, nine cards, special cards, the three special cards at the bottom, okay? Now you deal into three piles, well, you left to right or right to left. You do that once. Now you, you are free to randomly stack these, which is what I did in the performance. I had the spectator kind of decide how to gather those, okay? Now technically, in the language of the Hidden Structures course, this is now a cyclic construction relative to the Jack of Hearts, the Queen of Hearts, and the King of Hearts, okay? But, but let's not uh, go too deeply there, okay? But technically, it's cyclic. Well, because it's, quote, cyclic, you can do cuts. So I, I can, like, cut the cards, and that won't hurt anything that we hope to accomplish. And maybe even more powerful is something called the Charlier Shuffle. Now, this one is worth learning. Uh, I don't think it really sh needs to be part of the extreme math card magic category. Um, it's a bottom to top, top to bottom kind of shuffle. And I do have a separate video on the Charlier Shuffle. So it's actually not a hard one to learn. Uh, but a Charlier Shuffle, like I just did there, is equivalent to just cutting the cards at some location. It accomplishes the same that this cutting of the cards would. Okay? So it also preserves the cyclic structure, or, or in other words, the special structure that we need for this to work out the way we want it to. Okay, so we've done this part, we've done the three. Now, two, uh, what this is reminding us of is we can actually deal into two piles with random stacking as many times, any time, any number of times at all. So we can do this as many times as we like. Spectator could actually do this and then they can decide how to stack these. So honestly, you can do this for all eternity and it will not undermine the ending result in the least, okay? So once you've done, the, that's called kind of an LR, a left-right shuffle, done as many of the LR shuffles as you would like or the spectator would like, then we go to the big finale. So what we do now is we just deal them, the cards into three piles and then we can reveal our special triple. Okay, so you can do like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And what will always, always, always happen is the original three cards of the starting deck will be together in the same little pile. There they are. There are the uh, face cards and hearts. Okay, and then the other ones, we won't know what they are. It'll depend on the shuffling that we did. The only cards that we uh, need to be sure that we preserve at the beginning with our shuffle are the, the top three, namely these. Okay, 
So anyway, that is a fun, quick, powerful effect that will always work for you and is really quite surprising for the spectator. They just can't figure out how in the world all of that mixing, free mixing can be done, yet you know something about one of those packets of three. And you can uh, decide exactly what is in that little pile of three cards. Isn't that amazing? So anyway, I wanted to share that with you. That's kind of a quick, uh, simple math card magic routine um, that I think is worth learning. So thank you for watching.